Tonja and Amber. We go way back from the Mac days. Amber says she has something to talk to me about, so I'm curious to know what it's about. But what's crazy, I have something to talk to her about as well. So, we're going to get together before we head over to my holiday give back for children. So, I know everybody was tripping because I wasn't at the first gig where my girl Ty Cobb was being honored, but I had a gig in New York, and although it did get canceled at the last minute, I took that opportunity to spend time with my dad. What people don't know is that me and my dad didn't always have the greatest relationship, so we're building now. I don't care if they were tripping, because family's first with me. Hello. Because of religious reasons, I don't celebrate holidays. It's a give back. It has nothing to do with your religion or anything like that. Now, we're talking about the give back now. And Amber said she wasn't coming. Now y'all come on, the good Lord went everywhere. Ooh, I'm just saying. I didn't even know that she was Joe's witness even back when we were in the Mac days. But okay, I'm a Christian and I still will go to a club and sit with you if it was your birthday. Support. Okay. So, I came to you after you developed your, when you went, I think you were kind of like starting your decline and you were kind of like in the finishing time. So, I felt some type of way, not because you couldn't give out no contact, because I told you to get that. But I just felt like, what that is, what girl, like, even though you didn't give me a contact, can you just say, like, what are you looking for? And then I can do it through my company or something. I've known Amber for a lot of years, probably since 2004 when we were in the And we've always been cool, but you're coming to me, not helping you with the lipstick, and I give you a call about how did you get on this big, hey girl, you know how we do, and you ignore me. I sure did ignore her, and I shouldn't have. But at some point, it's like, are you like everybody else in the industry? This is crazy. I talked to Tonja last week. <laughs> About the same thing. thing. It's, it's, it's no, that's that's about about the same thing. That was from the other artist. And I told you, I said, talking about the whole BT thing. That was about that was Amber. I was like, my girl, I said, let me hit her up. And first of all, congratulations, whatever. Like, how you get that, like, you know, the neck? Like, who's your girl not? And you didn't answer. When you hit me up about the lip and we may have two totally different times. Me, I would have never, as much as I loved your daughter, as much as I was like, come to snow to the jaw core. I want and bring and y'all came on the radio. I was all I'm not going to be like, 
I ain't gonna help my niece with no lipstick when I could. I told her this. When I could, I, I, I could have done that. When you ask me, I see she ignored my text and they gonna ask me for something. I was thinking it was a mad mis misunderstanding, to be honest. But as the conversation progressed, there was like some little shadiness going on. So I'm not sure if there's some some underhanded shade going on, or it could be just a misunderstanding. So during the whole conversation, I was somewhat confused. I was kind of quiet because I wanted to sit off to the side and kind of hear both points. But at the end of the day, that shit was not meshing. It just, it just wasn't meshing. So, and you know what else knew about this Harley? Because I told Harley when it happened. You know, Harley is going to show him. You know, and I, I expressed it. Like, but that was still, that was an amber. You, you're messed up. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get on your side frame. I'm trying to get on your side frame. So when I was, when you, I was just Facebook night test. No, I still have two of my old phones. So we're going to find out. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. I'm telling you. I've had Imani, her daughter, and her on my radio show, you know, talk about her daughter's um, broken silence from when she was raped. And I really, really want to definitely support my niece in everything she does. Um, Amber is talking about, you know, since I call her, her daughter my niece, and I asked you a question, and I've clearly been supporting, I just don't see what was the issue. Now you're trying to say my timeline is off? No, yours is off. And I, I would know, never... but people frustrate me and call on my part too. Not only just on yours. We've been walking around talking to each other all the years. And, and I have never seen that. Like exactly. We both in it's the same, same issue. issue. I don't know. You know what? Bottom line is, I think I don't want you to be upset with me. Crying and vice versa. You know what I mean? I love you. You're my friend. And I don't want us to be like, you know, because I was hurt. We have that little bit of no, anxiety around. No, I was hurt by that. So I always feel like, I, you know, like people don't do much with me that I try to do and I don't want you to go away. But I was hurt too. So, like, with trying to support my friends and their adventures whether it you know especially when it's tied to like birthdays or holidays but then because of my beliefs I feel like a hypocrite <laughs> If you respect me, I respect you. If you don't really respect me, and that's when we got problems. That's when I'm gonna really show out. That's why it's new. I'm not really sure if he doesn't have a storyline, so he's trying to make me part of his storyline. But um, okay, I'll be relevant. Family got story. hate when I'm doing somebody's makeup and they keep looking at their phone. Girl, if you don't pick that chin up and let me put this foundation on so you can get out of my face, put the, turn it off. I hate it when the client comes through and you want to tell me I do my job, but you hire me. Or you want to say, you know what, I don't wear makeup. So I just want to look. Can you just do well, If you don't wear makeup, then go to CBS and go get your own makeup and just don't wear the makeup. Because that's just how this one goes. Hi, I'm 
I'm Shonda, CEO of Blair Devon, and I want everybody to know that I am a real makeup artist. Anytime we have an event, people are late, they no show, or they come like, hey, I'm here, then they come out. Like, you know, I don't you get know that. Amber just did that. Oh, there goes Shonda. All right. Hey. 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 You just signed it, so I had to pick up stuff. I'm late. Damn it, sorry. <laughs> well, I ain't in car. She will call me now. My, my whole thing is, even with Amber leaving and coming and leaving, she doesn't celebrate. So, okay. Okay. I can understand that, but I did tell her, you know, she was like, well, you know, her and her daughter, they they're always giving. We all give. Ty gives. We, we give time, money, space. I mean, you don't have to blanch it like I'm giving here, but I mean, if you're here for supporting somebody, support. We make time for what we want to make time for. That's not fair. But if you have an event and we don't show up, I'm sure your ass gonna have something to say. That squad did make a whole lot of sense. I see some things coming to full circle. Be careful. If it was like an hour or two, just to show your support for my event. It's all about support. Whether event, whatever event, your religious exactly. beliefs are. Exactly. Yes, I understand your Jehovah's is with I don't agree with some of the stuff you do. And we are a team. Right. All the team is supposed to be here. But there's no iron team. So far, so good. She's showing it's about me and my schedule, what I want to do. I kind of actually feel what Esquire is coming from. I mean, Amber said she couldn't make it, and then she came and then left after we talked. And then I feel some type of way because our meeting before the holiday party was actually on the same street. I don't know. Some things Esquire was saying, I think I might have to watch. But this is the I'm thing. A, I'm, if I see you doing something, something that you're, I, I'm, a, that's I'm gonna, gonna vocalize it because of the way I grew up. Right, exactly. When and some people may you, not even like that. I don't care if you like it or not. I kept it suppressed as a child so yeah. long to people please everybody else. Right, oh, right. As an adult, well, you I'm, were the just like, I'm not going to do I'm that. That helps us to understand you even more. But she can't understand me. Why? Because she's not here. Let's go inside. It's the truth. You, how can you understand me? You're not here for nothing. That's and that's why we keep on the head. Wow. I drop everything I need to do because you ask us to be in a certain place. And we have it's, to be a team. We it's have to a be a team. team. Team building. And if I can't depend on you, why are you doing Exactly. So as a new person coming in, I'm like, you okay, so I'm going to do what I see you. This I see you. I have a lot of things that I want to do. I have a lot of things that I want to do. Bye bye, Amber. Oh my goodness, I'm like so excited. Oh my god, how in the world are you juggling all of this though? This is experience. experience. Yeah, experience. it's no sleep, but I know that money is good though. You know, right, that's true. And you better um start building it with all this stuff going on with Trump. I know, but you know, I'm getting that White House coin now. I'm a wrestler. That's my sister. I've been friends with her for five years now. I'm just excited to be on a journey with her, you know, to the top. So, I'm in the White House now. Everybody should be trying to have multiple streams of income. Yeah. Everybody putting up statuses yeah. and carrying on about the election and all that. But y'all not trying to make no money. Oh my God, this is so sexy. <laughs> I can't wait. Look at your butt. I think it's small. Hello? Hey y'all, I'm here. I'm outside the door. Okay, Come on, Dad! I'm coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of the I'll be right back. Alright, well, I'll go and take my, um, I'll wait for you to take my dress off. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey! Hi. How are you? Thank you. Sorry, you know I'm crazy, so. Oh, Lord, where is she? I got some little refreshments. Yes, I need some 
is this? What is this? That's just for you. Yes, thank you, because I like the white stuff. Hey, honey. Because I got the gold, too. Oh, this is gorgeous. What y'all supposed to be hanging out today or something? Yeah, just hanging out. Kind of caught up since the Titans, so you know. Oh, boy. It's hard. I'm not gonna lie, but you know, me being me, I just have to stay focused and continue what makes me happy, and that's 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 the end result. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm good. Are you sure you good? I absolutely am. It's, you know, things happen, and you just have to pick the pieces and really. Well, I had to really build myself just to really focus on me because I lost the focus on myself. Right. I put everything into that. Right. And mm -hmm. I but I know y'all had an amazing friendship. Yeah, we had a great friendship. We're we're, we're cordial now. We speak, and in the beginning it was a little weird and mm -hmm. rough, but and we went through things. But you know, it's it's about the longevity. Like I still have love for him. I still have love for him because mm -hmm. I mean that was seven years. So right. Right. That was a long time. Right. Um, but I mean, other than that, I'm good. I love, 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 love this lady. Um, she's been a part of my journey as well too. You know, I've met her eons ago <laughs> when we both worked both prescriptors together. Um, but you know, um, it was nice seeing her, and it kind of brought up memories because she didn't know about my breakup, like a lot of people, because I'm a very, very private person. Yeah, we need you for it. Well, I need you today. I need you tomorrow. I'm gonna be at the private briefing on Friday to really utilize you for, and then you know I have the view Friday. Okay. So we need to coordinate what my look will look like for Friday. And then next Tuesday, I've got Greta, and then I've got Fox and Friends on Wednesday. Okay. So we sit down and talk about availability. Yeah, just um, what I'll do once you get a chance, because um, I know you're probably busy right now, um, we can sit down and make a little schedule for timing. So that way we can time out. I'll send you a bit of light for the event. Perfect. And then tomorrow, but more importantly, the few head on Friday. I've got to jump off, but we'll talk to your email, okay? Okay, we'll do it. All right, thanks, baby. All right. She always has a good view. Yes. The view. Oh, yes! I didn't even. That's what I'm saying. See, right there. Okay, that was locked in. Locked in. That was it. Oh, oh, thank you so much. I'll see you in a couple days to do your other uh, filler. Okay. I love you. Right? No, I'm talking. Hi, baby. Hi, boo. 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 Hi, boo
Now it's time for Trump and I, the CEO of Rip Radio, to have a little chat. I'm curious to know what he thinks about me not winning the Titans Awards. I mean, I did win Personality of the Year for the network. But boy, I am curious to know what he is going to say about his favorite award show, the Titans. What you doing? Know, it's about time. Well, I'm sorry. You know I'm always late, God. Yeah, well, the show's All right, because I know we got to start. Like I know. Eh, I'm sorry. Harley, Harley is always late, but I'm, I'm kind of early. All right, you so. Know you're wearing full off. Well, how are you? Good, yeah. Uh, well, you know, did you hear about the Titans Awards? I heard about that. So, first of all, it was, they had 25, I don't know, like 20 or 25 categories. And then we had no seats. Uh,. When I got there, they was like, oh, well, we wanted you here uh, between two and five or something like that to get seats. Four, five. To get seats early. I don't know, we left. I heard it was over like 11, 30, 12. Okay, well, like yeah, so we left. For a long time. We left probably about 9 30. Yeah. The yeah. guy Eddie Kane wins every yeah. year. I'm going to. I'm going to just say this. The station that won it, come on now. Please. People yeah. That won, come on now. Yeah. Let's go I mean, that's, that's what, right. I mean, please. Exactly. We, 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 we won last year, which we should have won. Yeah, we should have. We should have won this year. I would love them to keep their votes public. Stop. Don't make your votes mm. private. Keep them public. And let's see. Yeah. Of course, you know. Yeah. And plus, I already won the award I needed to win, which was Rip Radio Award. That's so, right. you know, I'm right. thankful for everything. It's just that when you've worked so hard, you know I'm trying. I don't want to say I'm transitioning out of being a makeup artist because that's in my blood. Like being creative hair and makeup, all of that. It's just that that world is so saturated, and being a quote unquote OG in the business, it's just that media and radio and TV is where I want to be. And I just feel like I, I felt like I earned it, even though it's really like a little lollipop kind of award show. We should do our own um, award show, but you already have started the ribbons. Make the rippies real big and, and take over their stuff. And we're going to. And the thing about the rippies is they won't be clickish. Like exactly. You're not in a certain click in this area. Then, then you ain't you. right. Exactly. <laughs> so you already know. All right. Well, let's get out of here because you know yeah. the show is about to start, and I don't yeah, want to leave yeah, nobody get out. Get I love you. I love you too. All right. Let's get out of here because I know you, you probably gotta go. Um. So what? Get some. Get some what? Ah! <laughs> you already know. I don't need some sleep. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Ty Cobb, Miss Large, and you're watching my show, Real Makeup Artists in DC. <laughs> Vanessa, we can do a little bit of what we had giving on to the uh, topic. We'll be right back. Right back. Jesse, you know what I'm talking about. Hey. Hey. Tuned into the Tack Off show before. Some things that we we hate: church stockings, black necks. Black. Oh my God! Black necks with rolls. Let I'ma add that. Baby teeth. Baby teeth. Black gums. Black gums. Yeah. Um, you know, fat earlobes. I see. Flittins. Flittins. Flittins are flats and kittens <laughs> mixed, mixed together, but they're shorter than a kitten. We hate white loafers. Oh, Rico, what do you hate? People. <laughs> oh my God, it's so terrible! I, you know, I'm not gonna say I hate all people, but you know, who, you know who get on my nerves? People with businesses, especially film people, <laughs> that say they have a business and a company and lose people footage and take 50 years to find it, but swear they popping and doing a whole bunch of stuff, but the only stuff they doing is in Southeast. <laughs> that was a personal um yeah, clear. shot. Clear. Uh, but Brayden from X Lens Productions is here. Y'all can get at him. He's a full large. <laughs> On the next Real Makeup Artist of DC. I'll be going to the store, talk to this young lady that I was referred to about putting my stuff in the store. So I'm just thinking that maybe you invite the whole crew. Or maybe it's okay. But what well, you want me to do last time? time? Something. People know. Well, I'm, I'm definitely not calling no Esquire. 
So today, I'm headed to meet my brother Enrique. 